Hi everybody, this is Joel from the Cosmo Music Drum Department. Today we're going to show you how to set up a drum kit. From out of the box, to this. This is the drum key. This is the most important tool when you're building a drum kit. This is what you're going to use to fasten your drums to one another, tune your drums, and make sure your cymbals don't fly all over the place. Now, let's get started and build some drums. There are three parts of the drum kit, each one just as important as the next. First off, we have the drum shells. Now, the drum shells are the actual drums themselves. You're going to be taking these drum skins, which I have right here, and you're going to be putting them on the drum shells. You're going to, going to be taking these rims, as I will show you in a minute, put them on top of the drum skin using the tension rods provided as well as the bass drum claws. In front of us we have the toms, the floor tom, the bass drum, and the snare drum which already has the skins on it. This is the hardware pack. This is what you're going to use to mount the drums. There's the snare stand to mount your snare as well as your cymbal stand and your tom stands. As well we have the throne which you're going to be sitting on, the bass drum pedal, and last but not least we have the cymbals. So surrounding me right now, we have all the pieces of the drum kit that we need necessary to put the heads on the shells themselves. So, what I have in front of me right now is the 16 inch floor tom. Now the 10 inch and the 12 inch are going to be put together the exact same way. So we'll just start by grabbing 16 inch drum heads right over here. Now, you'll notice that one of these drum heads has the Ludwig logo on it. One of them does not. Most beginner drum kits are just like this, okay? So one of the logo on it we're gonna use is the batter head. The batter head is the head that we're actually going to be hitting with the drums. So what I like to do is actually line up the name with the badge here on the front. Next, I'm going to grab one of these 16 inch drum rims, okay? Go ahead and take the rim, take all these little pieces over here, make sure they're lined up with this part over here. This is called the lug, this is the rim, this is the head. Next, what's happening is I'm grabbing the tension rod, okay? Now, inside the package, you'll notice, at least in this drum kit, you'll notice there are many different washers. Some of them may be plastic, some of them might be metal. So what you're doing is you're making sure you put a washer on every single tension rod, okay? So, you're sliding the tension rod through the rim. You're going to take all the tension rods and you're going to put them through the rim above the lugs. On this drum specifically, we have six lugs, so we need six tension rods, each of them with a washer, into the six holes around the rim. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the threaded tension rods into the lugs. By grabbing the opposite sides, I'm going to go as tight as I can with my fingers. That's a term that we call finger tight in the shop, okay? So I'll do this around the whole drum kit. By now, you should have gotten even enough pressure around the outside. You can feel it on the outside, and all of a sudden your drum's already singing. Now, this is not tight enough for a floor tom. Generally, floor toms like to be a little bit tighter, just so they'll sing a little bit more. So remember our friend the drum key? That's what we're going to use, and we're going to do a half turn, 180 degrees, on each of these lugs. All right. So it's important to go to the lug that's furthest away from the lug that you tightened previous. The reason for that is that you don't have too much tension on one side, otherwise the head will be lopsided and it won't be seated properly and then the drum won't sing as much. By just lifting this up, you already hear singing a song. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we'll take the head, put it on top. Grab a rim, put it on top of there, on top of the lugs. Okay? And last of all, grab the tension rods, thread them through the holes, and then put them into the lugs. OK, 
Okay, so I have all the lugs finger tight. So again, I'm just gonna go 180 degree degrees on each of the tension rods. What this is doing is I'm pushing the tension rods down and it's bringing the rim down, which is taking the head and stretching it over the edges, okay? Now, if I want the drum to be higher pitched, I can make it tighter. If I want it to be lower, I can make it a little bit looser. The important thing is, is that you get an even sound on each side. Hear how those are close to the same note? That's what we're looking for on each of these spots. So, now our floor tom is fully complete. Except for the legs, but I'll show you about those later. Okay, so we're gonna be doing the same thing on uh, both the 10 inch drum and the 12 inch drum. Oh hey, ready to build the bass drum? Okay, so when you're checking out the bass drum, you notice that there's a couple legs on it, all right? Now these crazy legs tell you which one's the front, which one's the back, okay? So, you can see how when you take this leg, you put it down, you notice that it's on this half, okay? This is gonna be the resonant head, all right? This is the side where you're going to be taking this one with the logo and putting it on. And you wanna make sure that you have the logo lined up with the top of the bass drum top of the bass drum has this piece right here. That's what's gonna be mounting the toms, okay? So after we throw the head on the resonant side, what we're going to do is grab the hoop, the bass drum hoop. This is the same as the rim on the drums. It just looks a little different. So we wanna make sure that we take the seam. The seam is where the wrap that's wrapped around the drum meets its other side. So we're gonna take the seam and put it on the bottom so it can't be seen. So you put the rim on the skin, just like the other ones. Now, since these rims don't have holes to put the lugs, what we're going to be doing, we're gonna grab these guys over here. Now, these are the bass drum claws, okay? So you're just gonna place one of these above each of the lugs. Similar to the other tension rods, you wanna make sure that you take one of these plastic washers and you thread it on the tension rod. Take the tension rod, put it through the claw, and then you're gonna put that on your bass drum, okay? So I'm just gonna put the tension rods through all of these bass drum claws. So just make sure that the head's all lined up, and then you can start tensioning, cutting the tension rods with your fingers. And again, we're going to make them finger tight. You may notice a couple wrinkles coming out on the bass drum. That's normal. Now I personally like to tighten my bass drum heads just a little bit. That way we're able to still get a low boomy sound. So I'm actually going to only tighten these a quarter turn, okay? So that's a 90 degree turn. And we're still going across the drum. Now the pattern I'm going, I'm going this lug over here, and the one across from it. And I'm going to be making a plus, a 90 degree line. And then, whichever one you choose to go for, just make sure you're always tightening the one across from it. Okay, so we've got the front head on the bass drum. All right, this looks pretty cool, doesn't it? 
At this point, you may decide to put a pillow or some form of dampening on the inside of your bass drum. That'll just take away some of the unwanted overtones. Now, you take it, and we're gonna put on the batter head the same way that we put on the resonant head. You'll notice this one doesn't have a logo on it. This is what you're gonna be hitting with your bass drum pedal. Head down, throw on the rim, bass drum claws, and you put tension rods through them. There we go. We got our bass drum. Now we're ready to make a big kick. The initial stages of setting up the drum kit are now complete. Next, we're going to move on to setting up the hardware and then getting ready to actually play the drums.